Look, thank you, um, Lydia, for inviting us. I wasn't quite sure how we got onto the radar, and I wondered if it was purely the fact that we were Langhams, uh, and Lady of Langham sort of, she went down the list and thought, they must be okay. It's been really nice, actually, uh, having a whole weekend where no one's asked how to pronounce or spell my name. Um, it's a little bit of an unusual name, but it's wonderful to be here. Look, I'm, I am here, I guess, as a real Kiwi in terms of industries and roles. I'm a GP, I'm a, I'm a doctor, uh, I'm a general practitioner. Um, I'm also a dad, and I have four children. Uh, as mentioned, my wife Liz has already has already talked a bit about them. Um, our three, uh, our twins, our seven-year-old, our twins, our eleven-year-old, almost eleven-year-old boys, um, a seven-year-old girl, and our foster daughter Aki, who turns five tomorrow, which is very exciting. Um, we have four kids at school. Um, I'm also a husband um, to this wonderful Liz, who you've all met. And I don't. If, when a if firewire coming in a bit later. I was going to tell him, okay, suddenly when you mentioned that, I thought if any of you have wondered about the importance of sowing into the lives of your teenagers, um, and if these teenagers here and have words spoken to them, you've already heard from the more wonderful half of our marriage, my lovely wife, who I loved very dearly, Liz, earlier this week. Um, I was reminded by a friend that Liz and I have been together for 21 years um, this January. We've been married for 16. Um, we met when we were 16. Um, we were teenagers, we were in ISCF, so in another interdenominational Christian group, Interschool Christian Fellowship, and we met there. Um, and we were in a place where words were sewn into the lives of teenagers every week. We were at a one